I had a dream to create an inclusive, equitable New York. And all of a sudden, I found out actually, forget about creating the New York, inclusive New York state. I myself is not included. That's how Mary Jo Biden felt when the Board of Elections decided to remove her from the ballot of the June 23rd primary election. Jo Biden is running for New York State Assembly. Meantime, another Bangladeshi American, Mumida Ahmed, was also removed from the ballot. She is running for district leader. The reason given? Their first names did not match the ones on their voter registrations. They argued their preferred first names had been what they were called for much of their lives. Ahmed, who was running for district leader in Assembly District 24, says she didn't even know she had a longer birth name until she had to speak with a TSA agent when entering America. She says the legal precedent, where Anatoly Eisenberg was shortened to Tony for a 2003 election, should have applied to her. So when they said that they could understand one diminutive and not the other, which is the one, you know, Mary from Meher Nusa to Mary and for me, Akia to Momita, it seemed like racism and discrimination. Um, and it seemed beyond just like ignorance at that point. It should not be the Board of Election deciding after 40 years of my life, like about 40 years of my life, that, OK, from today on, you cannot have this kind of name because in our ears, it doesn't sound right. They took the fight to court and won with a Queen Supreme Court judge ruling in a county as diverse as Queens with many exotic and unfamiliar names. An expansive view must be taken of what is familiar or diminutive. Michael Krasner, a political science professor at Queens College, says the process of getting on the ballot is made more difficult in Queens because political parties want to kick challengers off the ballot. Joe Biden, who is running against longtime incumbent Assemblywoman Catherine Nolan and Ahmed, both describe themselves as progressive Bernie Sanders supporters and hope to bring term limits to their positions. We reached out to Nolan and the Board of Elections for a comment, but have not heard back. In Woodside, Queens, Ryan Sangalia, New York City News Service.